Well, I have this uh, small uh, trick here that I want to show you. Okay, here maybe in case that if I delete this one, and if I use if I use this quick tool and draw the two uh, floors uh, one by one. Okay, here I have this floor because I have a grid line here. It will draw this one, and I have another slab here. Okay, maybe this slab may be different. Okay, let me delete this one again. And let me draw the quick tool here. Let me select another type of slab, okay? Uh, maybe slab 200 and draw it here. Now we know that this is slab 180 and this is slab 200. So, but finally, I just, if I, in case I realized that these two have to be the same, okay? For any reason, okay? Let me uh, uh, refresh it here. Now, let me display the extrude view here, extrude shell, section properties, again here, click it here. You see that there is a difference in thickness, okay? This one is 100, uh, this, this one is 200, this one is 180. Now, if I want to merge them and make them one uniform slab, I will select this and this, and I will go to edit, then I will go to edit shell, then I will go to merge. Now, it will ask me, do you want the resulting shell to be 180 or the resulting shell to be 200? Now here it asks me, do you want to apply assignments from F18, which is 180 or F19, that is 200? Which one do you want? If you want, you can select the second one. If you want, you can select the first one. So if I select F18, it means this slab will also have the same assignment like F18. Now the two slabs are selected. Now once I say okay, merge them, then it has now merged them. Now it is one slab and the thickness is the same. What but which thickness has it applied? Let me right click it and then you see that it is slab 180. So this is a tip that is added to this lesson.